Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tanya, and the one holding the camera is my daughter Savannah. Today we are um, gonna go Christmas shopping. Well, Savannah's Christmas shopping today. I'm driving her, and on the way there, what do you think we're gonna do? That is correct. We're getting coffee. Actually, I'm not getting coffee. Savannah's getting coffee, and it's not Dunkin' today. It's Starbucks. And it's gonna be like twelve bucks. Yeah, Savannah likes to overspend on a drink. Like literally the other day, the employee at Starbucks was literally like, this is ridiculous. I'm going to knock down the price. <laughs> yeah, literally knock down to what? A dollar? Yeah. Because I spent 20 bucks on two coffees. That's insane. That's literally insane. I would never. <laughs> I would never. I always treat to coffee. Well, not every time, but when I can. It's just, uh, it's just... Josie and I take turns treating. So, before we turned on the camera, we were talking, Savannah so started talking about uh, celebrities and stuff, so that's what we were discussing. Yeah. Oh, I also saw a uh, true crime thing the, uh, yesterday. You like true crime? Yeah, well, what crime is true crime? It's a case that's currently happening. Which one? Um, this lady, you probably honestly saw it because someone said Stephanie Sue made a video about it. Um, this lady went on a yoga retreat to Thailand, I think, and she was, you know, doing, like, on a canoe or something in the lake um, with her friends, and her and her friend veered off on their own, and then she's never been seen again. So what happened was the friend came back and was like, I think she drowned, but I don't know. And it was weird because a lot of people are like, why would she see her friend, like, start, like, maybe drown and just, like, paddle back and go see them instead of like yeah. trying to find her or it's save crazy. her it's actually crazy how many true true crime stories are like that oh they were with me on the boat and they drowned i couldn't get to them and yeah and it was it's it's always so they're <laughs> she's currently missing still um they literally couldn't do a search so her family had to hire like a private search team to search the water and they haven't found anything so they don't know um some people think that the people she went on a retreat with were a cult because the other people, the other witnesses and stuff that were with her, no one, um, everyone refuses to speak to the cops. Every yeah. single person. No, I've heard about this story. And her body is missing. Yeah, I've heard the story, but um, I just don't remember the specifics of it. I watch so much true crime, and I feel like I watch so much that I don't retain all of it. Yeah. <laughs> I've been watching true crime since the 90s. <laughs> I've been into it my whole life. There's a couple cases that still mess me up. Like which ones? Well, the recent one, the suitcase killer. <laughs> oh, wait, which suitcase killer? There's multiple. Um, The woman who literally posted a video of her boyfriend in the suitcase. Oh, oh yeah, she was talking to him because she, she was drunk and she was it's yelling at him. It's disturbing when you watch the video. Yes, I've seen it. I've seen it It's very times. disturbing. There's a current one going on right now, though um that a lady the the drama with it is that did she or did she not have postpartum um psychosis in this moment mm -hmm. she killed her three children and then tried to kill herself hold please <laughs> hi can i get a venti iced blonde vanilla latte venti iced blonde vanilla latte yeah anything else and can I get two extra pumps of vanilla in it, extra caramel drizzle, and sweet cream cold foam? Yeah, two extra pumps of vanilla, extra caramel drizzle, and cold foam. Anything else? That's it. $8.97. I'll see you up here. You turned into a woman. <laughs> what was that? I thought I was talking to a man. so random. Did you say blonde? Blonde, yeah. Why? What do you think I said? What is blonde? Uh, blonde espresso. What the fuck is blonde? It's less, um, strong and bitter. So basic? Look. <laughs> Can I have a blonde coffee, please? That sounds so stupid. Oh, I got Josie hooked on this drink. What exactly is in it now? It's a, it's a, uh, it's a blonde vanilla latte. So it's an ice So it's a latte. Hot or cold? Ice. Okay. It's a latte. You know what a latte is? Not, Coffee and milk. No, I just literally don't care. It's blonde espresso, and they put six pumps of vanilla in it, and I asked for extra vanilla, so they have eight pumps of vanilla in it, caramel drizzle in the cup, and sweet cream cold foam on top. 
I think I zoned out. Sometimes Josie will also get two pumps of caramel and uh, oat milk. But yeah. Well, surprisingly, guys, if you don't know this, I'm not the coffee girl here, so Anna is. And um, you all know I'm a Diet Coke girl, but like I grew up as a tea girl. I drank tea growing up, whether it was iced tea or hot tea. This is my drink, guys. Oh, what? Every Starbucks makes it different. They didn't put the drizzle in the cup. Oh, in the cup? Mm-hmm. Well, for you. Too bad, so sad. I've been craving this all morning. And by all morning, I mean the past two hours. I was just gonna say, like, you've not been up. <laughs> what time did you get up? 12. Okay, it's 2 p.m. now, so. I've literally had a whole day today already. And so mm -hmm. that is just starting hurt. Yeah, I have. Well, I did wake up two hours later than normal. I normally wake up about 5.30, 5.45. Got up at 7.30 today because it's Saturday. So um, I didn't purposely sleep, sleep in. <laughs> I didn't purposely do it. I just... Okay, let me ask and see if any this has ever happened to anyone else. Uh, on a day that I don't get woken up by like an alarm or somebody saying, hey, you got to get up or whatever. Um, I, it's like my body knows that I'm oversleeping. And when I wake up, I instantly go, <gasps> it's like, I, oops, what did I do wrong? I overslept. Where is everybody? Where, why didn't my alarm go off? Like it's in a, it's like a freak out, you know? So that's what I did today. It's that's, only 7.30 though. But when I got up at 7.30, it was instantly like, <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So then I got up and um, did my normal routine. And then um, I uploaded a video and then I interacted with people, uh, which is also part of my job, sort of, but I, I enjoy it. <laughs> and then in between doing that, I was also uh, cleaning up the kitchen, uh, doing some laundry, um, you know, normal stuff. What have I done today? I showered. <clears throat> um, had a bowl of cereal because I was too lazy to cook, even though I've been, like, really wanting to, like, cook lately. That's Watch TikTok. <laughs> so we're gonna head to just Walmart and um, Savannah's gonna do a little browse around for Christmas, get some gifts, and um, I'll see if I can film something interesting. I don't know if there will be inter anything interesting. So before we turn on the camera, like I said, we were talking about celebrities, Savannah brought something up, and um, we kind of turned it to like doing things to their faces to you know try to make themselves look better like actresses doing that um and my personal views on it is anyone who does that automatically is making their face look worse i think um aside from people who do maybe the littlest bit of filler in their lips um thank you for making me work. um Aside from people who just do a little bit of filler in the lips, maybe, or do something that is medically needed, or um, if they do, like, if, uh, just a regular typical nose job. But I'm talking about people who, like, fill their face full of crap just to try to make themselves look younger or something. Yeah. They always, always make themselves look older. Yeah, I think everyone should do what they want. Like, if it makes you feel better about yourself, then that's good. Do what you want. And you have the money for it, but also do your research. And I think doctors. I no, I don't think that just because you have the money, you should do it. I think that, um, and I think that doctors need to start telling people no. Well, you cut me off. Sorry. I think plastic surgery, surgery, sure surgeons was. should have a cutoff point where it's like this is getting dangerous for you. I can't do this for you. Yeah, but sadly, I feel like nine out of ten doctors just do the surgery, and one uh, percent of doctors are going to just turn you away and i don't think everyone needs to fill their face with plastic surgery and stuff because <laughs> then everyone looks the same which is pretty lame uh it's kind of stupid that everyone looks the same but yeah i don't like the fact that everyone you know, wants to look the exact like the exact same person like for a while it was like everybody wants to look like kim kardashian i feel like anytime i walk around somewhere or see people online that's all they look like yeah but I don't know, I think there's no harm in, like, um, if you're, like, really insecure about something and it, you know it'll make you feel better to do something, I think it's fine. Yeah. I personally probably wouldn't, depending on the surgery, though. I never would. 
I would be way too afraid to put anything in my face. I would get nervous about being botched, though, because then you end up worse than before. Yeah. And a lot of that stuff is just kind of unfixable. And, like, everyone's obsessed with, like, BBLs, and BBLs is the most, yeah. not only the most dangerous plastic surgery, the most dangerous surgery in the world. Yeah. People will go out of the country to get it done, and I think that's one of the reasons why. Because they'll kind of go anywhere to get it done, and they won't do the research. I don't know. Definitely, if you're going to get a plastic surgery, go to someone that you have done research on. Yeah. But and, and honestly, you should go to someone that's willing to tell you no. Yeah, but the big surgery right now is buckle fat removal. Is what? Buckle fat or buccal fat? Buckle fat, I think. I, I think I've heard of buckle fat, but I don't know what it is. Yeah, so it's the fat that's right here in your cheeks. Wow. Dude, that's the um, stuff that makes you look young. So the fat in your face. Well, right, right. But then people don't like that because, well, there's fears. Number one, it makes them feel like they have a fat face. Number two, most people who get buckle fat removal surgery have a round face. And if you're into pop culture and stuff, the round face is never in style. Round face is never in style. It's always, if you want a model look, you need chiseled cheeks. You need a longer face. You need a pointed chin. Let me tell you something. I think some of the prettiest girls in the world have round faces. Right, but I've always been insecure about my round face because I know I have a round face. And you're gorgeous. But also the buckle See, fat removal almost looks worse. she cuts me off when I said she's gorgeous. <laughs> Savannah, you have to be, you have to have faith in yourself. You are gorgeous. Yeah, yeah like they get the fat removed, which honestly does kind of look worse because you constantly look like this. Yeah, and it's like, I don't think that young people understand that the fat in your face, like the fat in your face, it is it is what makes you look youthful. Like, yeah. because as you get older, your face does naturally thin out. And yeah. um, that is one of the telltale signs of if somebody is kind of older or not. Yeah, and you have to understand, the results you get from plastic surgery are never going to look as good as those features naturally. Like, Maybe that chiseled out look is very naturally beautiful, but it's naturally beautiful. So when you get it done, like, surgically, it doesn't look as good as a natural. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And, like, especially if you're trying to, you know, impress other people, men, uh, it, like, in particular, the men I know would rather take the less, like, the less wanted feature over the the feature that everyone loves, but it's fake. Like big boobs, for instance. I just think it's so much They'd rather take small boobs than big fake boobs because they're fake. And I'm they not speaking for all men, but men I know. Because men, because there's two different things. Liking the way they look and liking the way they feel. <laughs> so when a man touches them, he doesn't want to touch a ball. He just wants to touch a boob. Right, and they also look unnatural. You yeah. can tell the difference in most people. Not in all people, but you can tell the difference between real and fake for a lot of things. Honestly, the, the boob thing scares me to death because I've heard so many, so many horror stories of women getting sick yep. and not realizing that um, this one girl recently, uh, I found out the story that they found black mold in her Ew. thing and um it was making her sick for years and the doctors were making her feel like she was crazy because they're like they, we can't figure out what's wrong with you and but yeah it's like the bbl like that's really common for breast implants in particular is like getting sick mm -hmm. they can make you sick i used to want uh fake <clears throat> boobies because i'm naturally small and you know i'm fine with my uh my uh itty bitty titty club titties so i've always wanted a rhinoplasty oh my god it's a christmas car we gotta show that car Ooh, that's to... but that's the work i always wanted to do was a rhinoplasty or um lipo can you see that car that car lives at walmart it lives here pretty much it's always here oh maybe it's the uh oops why did i do that i just hit that on accident um maybe it's the uh the homeless man <laughs> you know what i mean the there are homeless people guys that are not homeless they pretend to be homeless um i'm just saying this because we know this as um 
I don't talk to me. In our town especially. Yeah. There are real homeless people, there, but a lot of the homeless people are fake in our town. Yeah, there's there's these people. There's certain spots in town that they go. This is the one of the biggest is Walmart. So they will park their cars at Walmart and they will walk up to the corner of the busy road up there and bring a chair or a sign or whatever um, asking for money. And then, or they, a lot of them will be in a, like a wheelchair, a fake wheelchair, pretending like they can't walk. And people have seen those people leave their spot after standing or sitting there for eight hours, get up and walk their wheelchair back to their car parked at Walmart and leave. It's, and people do this all over town and it's insane. It's insane. All right, we're gonna go in Walmart. <laughs> I can tell you which ones I would want, and I bet you would never guess. There's two, three that I would wear. Well, four. let me look at all the different options. There's four options. Four options? Okay, so I already know SpongeBob uh -huh. and Rick and Morty. Uh huh. And let me look. Actually, there's five. My bad. How about the whole section you want? You no. want you want the whole section? Okay, SpongeBob, Rick and Morty. Okay, SpongeBob, Rick and Morty, Garfield. Uh -huh. Oh, I just saw that one. The one uh, and what else is there? You're not gonna guess. Uh, whatever the hell. Oh, that's Hello, Hello Kitty. Never mind. I know you don't want that. Uh, what do you want? That? Them. I would wear those. Oh, well, I pointed to it at first, but like okay, I thought. Okay, what's the last one? You're not gonna guess. I already. Lilo know. and Stitch. Yeah. These I, are my favorite. I chose that because that's the one Simpsons I would wear. Simpsons PJ pants. Ooh. They're not <gasps> soft like the other ones, though. Damn. They're not soft like the other ones. That sucks. Why not? That's bogus. Because they don't like Skyler. Walmart, what are you doing? Um, maybe maybe we should check behind some of these to see if there's cool stuff. <gasps> they have ramen pants. I know. I would wear those too, actually. Hang on. I want to show you back there. I lied. Maybe I would wear the whole section. <laughs> okay, I'm not this idea back at Walmart because we had an idea. So we were looking at pants. I think we're not going to go with that, um, but yeah, boys are so much for. First of all, I know my hair is just getting crazier and crazier by the second, guys. It is raining, and it is, I don't know, it's dry skin season, so it's dry hair season. Besides what Savannah looks She's like. She's mad at me. Savannah, so we're sitting in the parking lot at Walmart, we just got done, and she decided that she was going to show me um all the videos last night that made her ball her eyes out yes like actually like i'm not even i'm not being dramatic i was bawling like actually crying which is a rare occurrence i don't cry at videos so these are videos that i'm sure everybody has seen that are called my faith in humanity being restored okay yeah those those types of videos that kind of everyone sees you know um and she just showed me a bunch that made me freaking ball <laughs> I can't do those videos, especially with the ones that she showed me with children doing nice deeds for people. God dang it. Honestly, though, it makes me want to be a better, like, it, it sounds so cheesy. I have a Kleenex in my hand because you made me cry. <laughs> oh, but one of them in particular made me mad, guys, because, oh, I remember how it ended. Jesus Christ. Sorry. I remember how it ended now. Okay, so there was this one video, it was caught on the person's, like, ring camera or something, mm -hmm. of, <laughs> they left the Halloween candy bowl outside. Oh, she started this story before we oh, turned on the camera. Yeah, they left the Halloween candy bowl outside, and it caught this big group of kids and their moms trick-or-treating, right? They all come up, and it, the kids didn't start it, the moms started it, and that's how kids learn to be bad, is yeah. the moms. The moms grab handful after handful after handful and take Ma all of the candy. Seriously, why are women like so shitty they what? empty the bowl and it's like i don't understand how someone could be so selfish and like immature to take all of the candy and you're right. a parent like what do you even need the candy for go to the store and buy some you're a parent exactly so i don't understand why people are immature in that way yeah. but at the end so they emptied the bowl and walked off and this old man brought a big bucket of candy and poured it in the bowl oh but I just think that's so rude to take all of the candy. See, when I was a kid, if there was a bowl left over and there was a little bit of candy left, I would get yelled at if I took more than the amount left, like, that it said to take. Oh, yeah. She would say, leave some for the other kids. 
Yeah, I'm like you're. I know the rules. You take one, unless this, unless they like the homeowner leaves a sign saying, "Please take three. Because yeah. I mean, you come across that sometimes. But um, yeah. But, but like, if I, I tried to take more, she would be like, "No, no, you leave some for the other little kids that are gonna come later." I'm like, fine. <laughs> I honestly don't think that you and your brother were bad about that, though. Not really. I think you guys were pretty respectful. Because my whole thought, too, is, like, there's going to be a kid younger than me who goes up there and sees there's no candy left, and they're going to be sad. Yeah. But, yeah, those videos made me cry. Yeah, I usually... See, I'm subscribed to channels like that that show stuff like that, but I have skipped, hmm. like, for the last six months watching it because i can't do it or the humans being cute humans I videos just, i love it's, them okay the ones that get me are anything with the animals like when an animal does like yeah. animal gets saved or animal yeah does something to save another animal or something or anything with children like yeah. those things every time i cry but and i can't do it i love when people just pay it forward and like honestly some people think that this stuff doesn't happen in real life but it really does in my town at least like, I mean, it happens everywhere, but what I'm saying is I've experienced paying it forward many times. I think that um, it's different everywhere in, in the U.S. So for anyone not living in the U.S., um, every city in the U.S. isn't equal. Mm -hmm. So where we live, we live in the Midwest, and the Midwest culture is very blue collar, very um, you respect people mm -hmm. and do things for others you always hold the door open yeah. for people so i have never not held the door open for anybody behind me i it's just in my bones I no just that's like the most disrespectful thing you can do honestly it's like to not hold the door open or to not yeah, say thank you if someone does it for you yeah if somebody doesn't say thank you after i hold open the door for them i get so mad <laughs> because i'm like it's it's so easy to be like oh thanks yeah like, it's so easy I just held the door. I know it's normal for people to hold the door open, but like at least say thank you. Or if I someone bumps into you and you say sorry and they yell at you. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, in, in the Midwest, I'm not saying everybody, but I'm just saying like culturally in the Midwest, we are very like respectful people. It's a very vast difference from like, let's say New York City, where you're not gonna get those kind of people, mm -hmm. you know? And, it, and it's the same with like LA. You're probably not going to get anybody like that in LA either. Um, you're probably not going to get anybody like that in freaking Florida either, honestly. Um, but you would get that in places like Texas, Tennessee, the Midwest. Oh, I want to know what you think about something. Okay. Okay, so there's another one that I saw. And it was a, it was like security cam footage from a store. And it was like one of those, like a pawn shop, I think. Okay. So this kid came in, and by kid, I mean probably around my age. And he wanted this guitar and he was very excited about it because he's been looking for this guitar for a while so he was telling the store people like this is exciting like blah 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 and he was saying i don't have that much money in my account but i have some cash too so can i pay with card and cash and they were like yeah um it's 200 dollars." so he was like okay um and can i put 150 on the card and then 50 dollars in cash and he was like oh my god look it's my lucky day i have exactly 50 in cash i'm just really low on funds right now so this is what i have but i'm so excited about this guitar i want to buy it and so he was like a very sweet and respectful kid too. Uh -huh. He seemed very positive and stuff okay. about everything. Like he didn't seem embarrassed that he didn't have money. He was just like, yeah, you know, I have $50. <laughs> and you know, he gave it to them. And then the guy was like, oh, actually it's 220, my bad. So you're short $20. And he was like, oh, well, I don't have any other money. Um, it's $20. Okay. He was like, is there any way I can just come back? Like get $20 and come back? for it and they were like you know we can put it on what's called layaway or something oh, for you geez. since you already put two hundred dollars down what 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 i cannot believe you just said it's called like layaway or something layaway was so common <laughs> everybody did layaway we did me and your dad did layaway <laughs> Everybody did it. But yeah, he's like, I I already put two hundred dollars towards it, so I can have it on layaway. And he was, they were like, Yeah, you could do that. And the 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 workers too were very like this guy was being very conversational with them, and they were just like not talking back. Oh really? Which is very weird to me because a cashier like you got to have some personality, and like if someone's yeah. trying to have a conversation with you, talk to them. But then this lady, he was like, Damn, I'm twenty dollars. I don't have twenty dollars. Oh this lady behind him was like, 
you're only $20 short? And he was like, yeah. She's like, I'm going to pay it forward today. I'm going to pay it for you. And he was like, really? No, you don't have to do that. I can get $20. She's like, no, no, no. Don't worry about it. I'm paying it forward. I'll put the $20 and you can have the guitar. She's like, I'm just helping a kid with this guitar. And they were like, okay. But people in the comments were arguing about whether they think the store was in the right or the wrong. I think the store could have done a better job personally because number one, they said the wrong price originally and he paid and then they said it was he was $20 they short. They should have given it to him for Number the price. two, it was only $20 so they literally could have given it to him for twenty for $200 in my opinion. Well, they should have given it to him for the first price anyway because the, what, the first price you see or say, that is what you get it for because that's not your mistake. That's right. Theirs. And I, it's only 20 bucks and they know that he said he doesn't have any other money so like I feel like you're not going to hurt your business by by Espe giving it to him for 200 bucks. Especially the fact that it's a pawn shop because a pawn shop can choose their prices anytime they fucking want. Yeah, and so, some people are like, well, small businesses and stuff, like, they need that money yeah, to survive. But they, like, They do, but... I'm but not. also, some people were like, if you want your business to have a good name, then do, do nice, nice deeds things. like that will get your business a nice name. Me and Savannah know people in town that um, work places. She works with one, and there's one that works at the Casey's gas station I go to all the time. Who, if somebody is short a dollar or short a dime or whatever, these two people that work at these mm -hmm. two places, they will say, I got it, don't yeah. worry. And I feel bad. Like, I'll be like, oh, no, 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 I'll find a dime. I'll yeah. find a dime. Um, or whatever, you know, like. But I personally feel like it's bad on the store just because, number one, they made the mistake and he paid already and then they said, actually, you're $20 short. Second of all, I just feel like when you see someone who's struggling and they, they so badly want the guitar and they're a nice person, whatever, and it's just $20 short, as, like, if I were the store owner, I would be like, you can just have it. Because you already paid the $200. Yeah. I mean, if it was, like, a huge difference, like $100, maybe that's different. But, yeah. like, if it's just 20, 20 bucks. bucks. Yeah, that's, that's bullshit. That's bullshit on them. So, props to the lady, though, though for paying it. Honestly, I would probably too, just because it's only twenty bucks. So, like I, that guy that I was just talking about that works at Casey's. Uh huh. So recently, it was like extremely, extremely hectic in there. It was chaotic. So many people, um, and the cashiers and everybody was kind of like their minds were frazzled. Um, and I was up at the register, and I didn't realize till I got home later that day, but I got the wrong change back, and it was by a ton. Like, I really? didn't count it. I just grabbed it and went. I was in a hurry. It was a ton. Oh, my God. Like, cash or just cash? Like... It was a ton that he... It was not a dollar. It was, like... Um, it was $14 shy. Mmm! Um, yeah, that's a lot. You were $14 short and you didn't notice? I just... Because it was a bunch of... like the, There was, like, a couple ones on top. I thought maybe the underneath it was, like, a 20 or a 10 or something. I, I grabbed it. And, and I... I never have issues there, so I didn't think about it. So later on, I realized it, and I went back in there at a time when I knew it wouldn't be busy, and um, and he was working, and I went up to him, and I told him what happened. I was like, I don't know since I've left already and come back if this can be fixed in the register or whatever. This is what happened, and he felt really bad, and he was like, oh, let me see if I can fix that for you. He's so sweet. Mm -hmm. And he started getting frazzled, and I was like, it's okay, you know, and he's like, he gets out his wallet, and he's like, don't worry, no matter what happens, I'll give you your money back, I'll pay it out of my pocket, and I was like, don't you dare, mm -hmm. I will not take that, that's, a no, absolutely not, and he, and he went to the manager to see if, uh, if, if that could be fixed, and this is, this manager comes out, I didn't even tell you this, I don't think, she comes out, and she sees it's me, and she goes, I'm my favorite person, <laughs> <laughs> so, she fixed it for me. It was all good. Yeah. See, honestly, the way we are at my, where I work, too, is they will be willing to be more helpful towards you if you have a good standing with the place. Because if we know you and we know that you come in all the time or whatever and we mess something up, we'll believe you more often. Because some people do come in to... I work oh. at McDonald's. Some people do come in pretending they got something wrong or pretending they didn't get it something they ordered mm, just to get free food i know it because also where i work we don't have to ask for receipts or anything we just give you the free food oh usually so, you have to see the receipt 
yeah we i have been yelled at for asking to see receipts because i thought that's what we had to do mm -hmm. but they said no you're not allowed to ask for receipts and i was like oh okay so we just give them the free food so a lot of people like the other day someone ordered two happy meals and 50 ch chicken nuggets <laughs> so oh five ten pieces and Dang. they called the store and said you're missing my cheeseburgers and they were like i don't remember that person having cheeseburgers because what we can do is on our system all the receipts are in the system still. So we pulled up their receipt, and no cheeseburgers. Home. So we said, I mean, we can't is, give you those because you didn't order that them. that people can say something in the intercom and then the people don't click it. That happens a lot. That happens a lot. People will come to the second window where I work sometimes and be like, uh, like this, this Coke was supposed to have no ice or something. And I'm like, oh, they must not have heard you then, but I can make you a new one because it's just whatever. Because yeah. sometimes it is our fault, even if it's like not purposeful. It's like we right. mishear you. Hear, yeah. I mean, I know they say, oh, is everything correct on the screen, but no, that doesn't mean that everybody who's sitting at the screen reading it is actually reading it. Yeah, it's, oh my god, it's the most annoying, though, when you they come to the first window, and we say, like, for instance, did you have the two cheeseburger meal? And they say yes, and then they get to the second window, and they get their food, and they're like, this isn't mine. <laughs> and we're like, you paid for that order. And then, so the manager yells at us, like, why did you pay them out for the wrong order? And I'm like, I asked them what they had, and they said it was that. And then I, now they're mad they didn't get their food because i think that when people are going through drive throughs they're on uh robot or not yeah robot, what's it called autopilot autopilot they're on autopilot and they're not really hearing anything oh. they're just going through their motion me too i'm on autopilot when i work because right. yesterday i literally looked at someone i gave him his drink and i i knew he had food i gave him his drink and i said have a good one and then he was like, uh, I have food too. And I was like, oh, my bad. <laughs> autopilot. <laughs> Literally autopilot. So when someone tries to start a conversation with me at the window, I have no idea what they're saying. Like, I hear what they're saying, but I have, I can't comprehend it's the same it. Thing because when uh, someone says like, um, oh, happy birthday. You're like, oh, thank you too. <laughs> <laughs> Except one of my favorite customers came through yesterday and he was so nice. He always starts a conversation with everyone at the window, but not an awkward one, just a really nice one. He's the one I told you about. He, uh, him and his wife come through with his dog. Okay. Yeah. And so they came through yesterday and they're like, so I know some of the other people's names and I see you a lot, but I don't know your name. So what's your name? And I was like, Savannah. He's like, ah, Savannah. Okay, I'll see you soon. Because they come literally every day. Okay, I need, I need everybody to comment down below. Are your guys' McDonald's in your different parts of either the U.S. or other places um, like that? Do you guys... Like, is this a just a Midwest thing that we just talk to everybody? Mm -hmm. Because we are freaking talkative. Everybody in the Midwest just yep, yep, yep. I know. And as we, someone who is an introvert, when everyone tries talking to me, I'm like, can you just grab your food and get out? <laughs> <laughs> but it brings you out of your shell a little bit, and yeah. it gives you that confidence. I, I really enjoy nice people, friendly people. <laughs> but Yes, of course. But also, oh my God, speaking of, I need to give a PSA really quick. Just because someone works at a fast food place or a store or whatever does not mean that they are trash or less than you and does not mean you should treat them bad. I'm going to tell you something that happened recently, like maybe a couple weeks ago to my manager. Um, and my manager, she's not trash. She, whatever, you know, I'm just going to say. So this lady comes through saying her cheeseburger was messed up. So my manager says, okay, of course, we'll go, I will go make you a new one right now. Okay. And the lady goes, like, completely no reason to say this at all. She goes, oh, you're probably just gonna uh, scrape off, because I think it was supposed to have, like, no cheese, so she pro you're probably just gonna scrape it off and hand it to me with, like, spit in it or something, aren't you? <laughs> and she's like, that actually hurt her feelings. She was like, just because I work here doesn't mean that I'm, like, nasty and stuff, like, because we take that policy very seriously where yeah. i am when we take food back we throw it out mm -hmm. and we make a completely new one yeah. or if um sometimes we'll have extra but if food. somebody says that it makes <clears throat> you want to do it <laughs> right but sometimes if we have extra food sitting at the because sometimes they make too many sandwiches on accident mm -hmm. so we'll have it sitting at the end if it's fresh then we'll hand it out but if it's been sitting for like 10 minutes Sometimes the cooks will be like, use that one. And she, like my manager makes sure she's like, no, you need to make a fresh one. Mm -hmm. She's very obsessed with that. Like the coffee uh, pot will turn, the, the light, light will turn red when it's expired. And she's very much like, you can't hand that out. Like we follow the rules on handing out fresh, good food. Mm -hmm. We're not disgusting like most people. The, I can't say the same for the place I used to work. Place I used to work was not good with that stuff. 
like where I work now, like just because we work at McDonald's doesn't mean we're like, you know, trash. Yeah. <laughs> well, this uh, vlog is very long, um, and it's just a lot of us yapping. So, uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog. Um, if you'd like to talk to us some more, um, I have a Discord. So the link to it will be below in the comments and in the uh, uh, description. So uh, come pop in and say hello. And uh, yeah, like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't done that yet. And we will see you next time. Bye, poopies.